Max Newman, everybody. Max Newman! How are you? Good? I just got a phone with my mom. She goes, she likes to wish me good luck before I perform. She goes, Max, when you get up on stage, just act like you're having sex. I go, Mom, first of all, I'm not talking to you about sex. And second, I'm not gonna prematurely come on the audience. Right? Am I right? I think I'm right. I hate how when I'm out and about in the city, if I gotta use the restroom, I gotta go into a cafe, I gotta buy a coffee just so I can get the restroom key. Now I've been doing this so much, I've been thinking about stealing the key. <laughs> going to a hardware store, making a copy, so I can go whenever I want. Now that would be easy if this was the restroom key. This is the restroom key. <laughs> it's kind of hard to be discreet stealing this. It's a prop joke. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. I've, uh, <laughs> woo! <laughs> I swear, you can say whatever you want. You're, like, I eat cardboard, so I'm like, I do that too. <laughs> I've noticed there are two kinds of vegetarians. There's the hippie vegetarian, and there's the gay vegetarian. <laughs> Seriously, go to any restaurant, you'll see a table full of hippies just like shoving quinoa on their face, not even eating it. It's like, why don't you eat it? Like, no, 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 it's healthier for your skin if you just smear it on there. <laughs> there's also the Hindu vegetarian, but... Yeah. Don't, you guys are so out of luck because I don't do Hindu humor. <laughs> if anyone came here to hear Hindu jokes, that's a very specific thing to come here for. <laughs> Should probably broaden your expectations. I like being a vegetarian, but it's really hard to sound straight when you order a soy burger. Like, every time I do, I man up as much as possible, but it always comes out like this. Um, yes, can I please get a soy burger? <laughs> that, that's not a sandwich, that's a musical. <laughs> I swear to you, I ordered one last week. I got nominated for a Tony Award. <laughs> the award was for best soyography. <laughs> now you may think that's a stupid joke. Or you may think, why the hell was I only nominated? <laughs> I'm not offended if you think I'm gay. I'm not offended. However, I am very offended if you think I'm a hippie. <laughs> I don't, I'm just not the biggest fan of hippies. Like, I, just, I didn't know until I met some of these people that apparently not wearing deodorant is an option. <laughs> I, I don't know. I like... <laughs> Look, if it is an option, you have two choices. You can either spend $5 a month to smell fine, or you cannot spend $5 a month and smell like used fireworks. <laughs> I understand if you gotta save money, but somebody said this, maybe you just shouldn't spend $10 on a CD for a band that no one's heard of. Buy some shampoo, wash out your dreadlocks because you have no affiliation with Jamaica. <laughs> like, I understand you're a huge Bob Marley fan. I, I get it. I'm a huge Ray Charles fan, but you don't see me stabbing myself in the eye with a steak knife. <laughs> My friend David, he's a huge hippie. He goes, Max, you don't understand me. You don't understand my vibe. I'm like, you're right, I don't understand. I don't understand why you sleep in a teepee. <laughs> I don't understand why that teepee's in your living room. <laughs> I 
So you know when something's too good to be true, and then you have that moment where it's like, whoa, this is too good to be true. <laughs> the other day, my girlfriend said to me, she goes, Max, why don't you ever talk about me in your stand-up? I go, what? I would love to talk about you. I just, I always thought you'd be offended. Here's where it's too good to be true. She goes, I wouldn't care. My ex-boyfriend used to talk about me all the time in his stand-up. <laughs> Now, usually when I hear about an ex-boyfriend, my first question is, was he taller than me? <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Who would win a foot race because I'd probably talk shit and then run away? <laughs> no, because he's a comedian. My first question was, was he funnier than me? And she said, his jokes were different. <laughs> I'm Max Newman, thank you. Max Newman! <laughs>